I'm up here at the start of the Montana Enduro Series in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Careful, there's a bear on the trail. Anaerobic torture, I like that, that's good. Good morning everybody. I am Mackie. Sid is still climbing up the hill. I'm up here at the start of stage one of the Montana Enduro Series in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yes, Montana Enduro Series, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. My guess is that because they're very close together and Wyoming's just over the border, they were like, ah, it's cool. Um, anyway, we've never raced this race before, so super stoked. We did some pre-riding on Thursday. We've got four stages and then we'll see how everything settles out. This is an interesting one for us because we've never raced here before, like ever in this area first time. So we don't really know what to expect. We don't know the other racers who are racing this series. We've pre-ridden the courses, but we don't know them super well. We don't know the terrain all that well. So it'll be really interesting to see how it goes. This race with it's So at the top, right as I'm about to drop, she goes, careful, there's a bear on the trail. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, on the race? She's like, yeah. Which I think she didn't know the difference between stage and transition. <laughs> I was like, oh, probably they'll go because other people have gone through. She's like, well, it's a mama with two cubs, so <laughs> maybe not. Oh, jeez. So the whole time down, I was just thinking, is this blind corner going to have a bear? <laughs> like, How about this one? I think that was a pretty decent run for me. I caught my one minute guy. It's sort of hard to tell on those, like, am I pedaling too much? Should I be trying to pump more? How about you? It's just really hard. I have a hard time knowing when to pedal when it's not actually uphill. Yeah, me too. Where it's like, when is it faster to pump? There were just a few parts where I kind of lost all my speed in corners too. Yeah. But the time will tell. Time will tell. Are you ready, ready. What a contrast to that first one. First one was like 12 minutes, lots of pedaling. This one was like two minutes. Just a bunch of pumps and berms and anaerobic torture. I like that, that's good. How'd it go for you? It's good, it was fast. Yeah, it's short. Enjoyed the cheering squad. Yeah, we had a good cheering come. squad of our parents. It's like it almost amped me up too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like I kind of didn't do so hot in the next two corners. Somebody yelled, like, do a wheelie at me. And I was like, no, what? not while you're racing. <laughs> so I actually kind of liked it. The very first stage was the longest and most pedally. These next ones aren't going to involve that much pedaling, so.
How was it? Good, I have salt in my eyeballs. It's hard. Clean? Yeah, I was sure you were gonna catch me every time I heard the like weird noise. <laughs> nope. I think you were comfortably ahead of me. I crashed three seconds from the finish. I'm feeling pretty stupid about it. To be honest, I didn't lose whatever. That much time. You got up and ran across the finish line. No, I didn't know the finish line was right there. Oh. So I got up and got going again, and then crossed the finish line. Now we're on to our last one. Almost done. Almost done. It feels like we just started. This last one is really fun. Quick draw. draw. It's their only double black. It's pretty cool. All right, go, Sid, go. So how was it? Um, I felt good on that. Good? Went real fast past my dad. Nice. And your, I think your mom. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Good cheering squad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really I good. I unfortunately nearely hit your dad. Oh yeah? I came off the drop. I must have gone into it farther on the left because I ended up way farther on the right. Uh, like almost over not on the, on the side trail. where he was, gotcha. I got bucked. Yep. I'm sure it scared him. <laughs> Probably more than it scared me. Yeah. It was fine. <laughs> I suspect, honestly, I kind of sighted him because I saw oh, him there. I was yeah. like, oh, there's Bob. And looked uh -oh. at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. High five. Yeah. Nice job. All Mackie done, and it's like new. Crashy Mackie today, huh? Yeah, I crashed yeah, again, Mackie. which is embarrassing. But basically, this turn, there's something about that turn I don't like. Like, there's something weird about its shape. And I hit it weirdly and was going right at a tree. And I got a hand up and, like, sort of caught the tree in myself. So my wrist's a little sore, but it's okay. But I just feel dumb. Like, I was on a pretty darn good run besides that. I went through that rock section really well. I was quite pleased. Bummed about that, but overall pleased with the race, so. I guess we should go chip in and hopefully other people have chipped in and see what happened for today. Well, my crash on stage three gave me a nice little raspberry and patrol or first aid was super cool and patched me up, <clears throat> gave me a little uh, to-go kit because I told them I live in a van and they're like, you should take these things and change the bandage regularly. So um, let's go check results. As things stand, Sid and I are winning our respective pro categories. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we're pretty sure all the pro women have chipped in, but there's possibly one fast local guy, is how people have described him, in the pro men's category who has not chipped in. So we figured we would come change, get out of our chamois. I wanted to quickly say thank you to our Patreon team. Um, you guys are awesome. Appreciate all the messages and everything cheering for us this weekend. It's really cool. We really love that you guys are, you guys got our backs. Um, make sure to check out the extended cut. It's pretty fun. So my dad just called me and said that the fast guy apparently chipped in because he knocked second place into third place, but I still beat him. So I think that pretty comfortably means I won. So yes. That. Don't take your clothes off quite <laughs> yet, <Yeah>. Sydney. <laughs> so that was really cool. I'm that was so fun. Really stoked. That was really fun, and it was a good group of people. Good I crew. ran into a couple of people who I'd met at the um, NAEC in Silver Mountain, Idaho, last year. So I'll link to that video. But it was cool. I hadn't seen those guys in like over a year and they're just, they're, they're good guys. And it was just a good group in general. Yeah. Um, there was some good shit talking going on at the end. <laughs> yeah. I think Mackie surprised some of the local boys. So yeah. they are 
gearing up for next weekend in Grand Targhee, which is their local park. So I think it's going to be a more difficult race for you, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think, think so. I I'm going to have to they, work hard. They, they um, maybe took a little too easy because they didn't know what they were dealing with. So they're getting ready for next yeah. weekend. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, we got them riled up. They informed Mackie in no uncertain terms that he was going to have to work a lot harder next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are just getting back to the campsite and are looking forward to eating some dinner. Um, we talked a little bit about the race. Some reflections for me is that it's been fun this year. We've scheduled in some smaller races, which has been really fun because I've actually been able to win some races and not always feel like I'm like just struggling to like stay at mid pack level, which is kind of where I'm at when we do the bigger national races. So this has been really fun. But also, like, we're aware that, like, not as competitive as a lot of the races that we do. But I do think there's something to be said for doing these races that can give you a bit of a confidence boost. And, um, yeah, just keep you stoked on racing. Because it's hard when you're just struggling all the time. There was no prize money at this race. Which, the Montana Enduro Series is actually kind of a neat setup. So they, it's a not-for-profit. So all the money goes back to the Montana Bike Guild. So basically like injury fees and stuff, they're just covering costs and then any money that they make is going to like building more trails and bicycle advocacy. And so they don't do prize money and like really that's awesome. So we're very supportive of that. Um, and yeah, now we've got the next of this series in Grand Targhee next weekend and it's gonna be awesome. I think it's just definitely cool to see race series actually like really giving back to the community because mm -hmm. I think a lot of race series are trying to be like national level and like trying to be for profit and like make money and that's like totally fine there's totally space for that but these guys are like you know that's not not what we're gonna do we're just gonna like raise money for local trails and like be involved in the community and put on really fun events so that's cool yeah, yeah. I'm I'm stoked about it's next fun weekend. to be a part of yeah <clears throat> so until the next video thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget be more awesome. to be more awesome <laughs> also check <laughs> out our sweet podium now? shoes you should show off your podium shoes these are pro zoomies flat shoes yeah but since we never ride with flat pedals we're like finally decided we just need to start wearing them and they're pretty comfy and yeah. look pretty flat yeah, and so we're going to keep them clean so we have podium shoes. They're already dirty. They got champagne on them. Champagne showers. Yeah, we smell like boozers again. <laughs> Sid doesn't like it when I use that word, so I'm using it as much as I can. We smell like boozers. Boozer! <laughs> <laughs>